watching NBC6 News today. Welcome back. Well, seizures are scary, and here to break down everything we need to know to keep our pets safe is Dr. McNair with University Veterinary Hospital. Thanks for being with us. All right, absolutely. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about, you know, seizures, a lot of people, we just don't know much about them, and especially when it comes to pets, this can be very frightening. It absolutely is. You know, a seizure in general, we talk about in the brain, we have these cells called neurons, and they fire these electrical signals that are intended to run the whole body. And unfortunately, in a seizure, what happens is multiple ones of these cells are sending off all these electrical signals like an electrical storm and what this manifests as in these in these patients when they go through seizures we'll see that they're unconscious they'll have paddling swimming um, they will have muscle tremors and these they can even urinate or have a bowel movement during this and it's all involuntary just disorganized chaos and, and so as a pet owner what are we supposed to do so when your pets having a seizure there's not much you can do for them during a seizure the mm -hmm. thing to take comfort is they're not feeling any pain or any distress they're completely unconscious they don't feel a thing we have to feel all the emotions and go through it mm. um, but when they recover it's something you want to make sure that they're in a good soft spot they're not trying to do too much activity because most of them will be weak or lethargic for 30 minutes or even up to 24 hours and I guess it, would there be different kinds of seizures to be a little bit more worried about or maybe things that could trigger it to do I need to rush them to the veterinarian you know, the veterinarian like what is what is that process like yeah so you know if your pets never had a seizure it's an absolute reason to go to the veterinarian and figure out why you know mm -hmm. seizures can happen for a variety of reasons this can be major organ dysfunction serious infections. This can be even issues in the brain itself or a toxicity. So it's a really important that if your pet's never had one that they get evaluated in quickly. Um, because if there's a primary reason that they are having seizures, we want to address that and then we'll resolve the issue. Versus some pets can actually have a condition called epilepsy where they're just prone to having these seizures and that may be something that may need medication. So it's really, really important that they get evaluated quickly. Are there any maybe breeds of dogs or anything like that that uh, maybe are more prone to things like this or something to, to look out for? for? Not necessarily any particular breed. Any dog can have epilepsy. Any dog can have any condition to induce seizures. So um, it's just something that the age of when they start having seizures is probably the biggest thing that I'll stress for people that, you know, if I have animals that are one to five years of age, it's kind of the biggest time for epilepsy to start developing. Mm -hmm. um, so if all their testing looks normal, that's going to be the condition we likely tell them that they have. Versus if they're less than a year or over five years of age, that's more concerned that there's something else in the body or something going on in the brain and we really need to get to the bottom of that. All right, well, thank you so much for being with us this morning. There's a whole lot more on this topic, and we'll provide a direct link on our website after the show, arclatexhomepage.com, to the blog post. that has got more information so you can navigate through all of that. But stay with us. Jesse is back with a quick look at our forecast after the break.